My name is Kim Seipert and I am a painter here at HBU. I am a studio art major. So what I do is a combination of painting, sculpture, printmaking, anything I can get my hands on, ceramics, mostly painting, mostly 2D. My artwork can sort of be summed up in the term betweenness, I think. Um, I really love the tension between playful and solemn, trivial, important, things that have meanings beyond what you see at first glance. Uh, paradoxes are a good way to put that. Um, I work with place. Um, technology, rural uh, belief is a huge theme throughout my work, but overarchingly I think um, that feeling of multiple interpretations where you look at something and you, say, you see something immediately and maybe it brings a feeling of comfort or maybe it brings a feeling of unsettled feelings of your childhood. Either of those things would be a theme that I'd be drawn to. I have to always be working. My inspiration does not come at a specific time of day. It just has to find me working. I think Picasso said that. But it's mostly when my mind and my hands are involved in multiple projects, at least two at a time. Where I'm from is Houston. I was born in the suburbs, and that does actually specifically very much influence my artwork. Specifically from this semester, I started painting the row houses of Houston, which is a planned community like what I was raised in, but incredibly opposite and um, typically an African-American marginalized group. And so I was really exploring those themes of just marginalization and social cycles. But where I come from, things are very much uh, covered up to look the same on the outside, but it is a melting pot of different cultures and um, representations of different kinds of beliefs and influences culturally. So it does play a huge role. I do believe in a higher power. I think that higher power is becoming bigger and bigger in my worldview ever since I've pursued art as a kid. And through the practice of art and discovering more so than creating, I think it's just exploring the things that you do. I think the definition of whatever that higher power is gets bigger and bigger. Whether it's God, which it is to me or to anybody else, whatever that might be. My art is a lot about betweenness, so betweenness between two opposing, two or more opposing ideas or concepts that rather than working contradictory to each other, they might work in unison. The piece behind me is called Fear and Trembling Repetition. It was adapted from Rembrandt's Sacrifice of Isaac. It is very much a modern interpretation, so you see three sets of Abrahams, Isaacs, and the angel in their sequence on Mount Moriah right before he's about to sacrifice his son. The story obviously brings up things like faith, obedience, ethics, and the otherwise absurd, but my painting was a way that I could start to ask questions about maybe the myth or maybe the actuality of what happened here and multiple scenarios playing out at once. For example, two Isaacs die in this painting and one lives. Two Abrahams are innocent, one is guilty. And so the painting is a way to consider multiple outcomes and I get to wrestle between classical space and modern geometric space. I do art because it is the thing that challenges me the most in life. It makes me question everything that I believe and think and I can picture myself continuing to be able to do it till the day I die.